Craving a Reuben? How about something with something other than rye? An Asian infusion? The Reuben is a textbook example of a sandwich that's greater than the sum of its parts, and these places go above and beyond. Zingerman's Deli in Ann Arbor, Michigan has been in business for over 40 years, and that means they've had a long time to perfect their sandwiches. One of the things that sets it apart from other delis is the fact that their sandwich bread is freshly baked in the restaurant's bakery. In 1992, the restaurant teamed up with a trusted business partner to start up Zingerman's Bakehouse, a decade after opening the deli. The bakery uses organic wheat flour, rye, and other grains that are grown in the Great Lakes state, along with farm-fresh milk and butter. It's Zingerman's attention to detail and dedication to fresh, high-quality ingredients that make its Rubens one of the best in the country. Zingerman's Rubin is served with corned beef, Swiss Emmental cheese, sauerkraut, and homemade Russian dressing, all loaded onto hand-sliced grilled Jewish rye bread that comes fresh from its own bakery. Nothing is perfect in life, but the Reuben at Zingerman's comes pretty close. For those feeling adventurous, the deli has some surprisingly unconventional offerings on the menu, like the Brooklyn Reuben, that's made with pastrami and served on pumpernickel bread. It's never about the reputation, it's always about the quality of the product and the quality of the experience. Established in 1915, Atman's Deli has since become an iconic stop along Baltimore's famed Corned Beef Row. For those unaware, Corned Beef Row is a section of East Lombard Street in Baltimore that was home to a cluster of bakeries, markets, and delis during the early 20th century. These days, the once lively Corned Beef Row has reportedly simmered down some, with only a few historic posts like Atman's Deli that have withstood the test of time. The menu at Atman's is truly massive. There's so much on offer that each page will have you squinting your eyes like you're trying to read the fine print on the Declaration of Independence. But with dozens of high-quality classic and signature sandwiches, taking the time to thoroughly scan the menu and soak it all in is totally worth it. The corned beef Reuben is served with the usual condiments and trimmings that you'd expect, but it's generously stacked with expert precision. The secret? It's all in the corned beef which is, as you might expect, a specialty. Decades of customers have praised the deli's tender, steamed corned beef. There's no doubt, here you're in for a real treat, one that draws on decades of craftsmanship. Skipper's Smokehouse in Tampa, Florida offers a unique twist on the classic Reuben, and it starts with their inventive culinary fusion of the flavors found in Florida, Louisiana, and the Caribbean. As you can imagine, the offerings at Skipper's Smokehouse look a lot different from the ones you'll find at a traditional deli. The grouper Reuben switches out the corned beef for freshly blackened fish. And while that may sound a bit bizarre to some of you, you should know that professional food guru Adam Richman absolutely loves it. Those with a more adventurous appetite will be pleasantly surprised to see some other dishes on the menu like smoked gator ribs, crawdaddy mac and cheese, and fried gator tail. True to form, Skipper's blends regional cuisines to great success, adding inventive twists on classic dishes that are mouth-watering and surprisingly delicious. Chicago is famous for a lot of things, but when it comes to delis, Manny's is considered by many to be one of the city's best. Manny's has been in business since 1942, and it's safe to describe this place as a beloved, family-run institution that's been pleasing patrons since World War II. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Manny's has an enormous menu loaded with daily specials. Its signature sandwich is the Reuben, which comes with your choice of pastrami, corned beef, or roasted turkey, along with the usual Swiss cheese, sauerkraut, and Thousand Island dressing. Not only is the quality of every everything in the sandwich phenomenal, but it's also generously piled up to form one monster of a meal. Those who can't decide between pastrami or corned beef might want to go for the chazer, which features two types of meats, along with cheese, coleslaw, and a side of Thousand Island dressing. Breakfast lovers also might want to check out the breakfast Reuben, which comes with two eggs, corned beef, kraut, Swiss cheese, and a potato pancake with a side of dressing. While sure, it might not be the healthiest way to start the day, sometimes you just have to treat yourself. Mimosas. Treat yourself. Fine leather goods. Treat yourself. It's the best day of the year. The best day of the year! A two-time recipient of the James Beard Foundation Award, Langer's Deli in Los Angeles has been in operation since 1947. Langer's Deli is best known for its pastrami, which is made in-house from the restaurant's original recipe and sliced by hand to order. The pastrami at Langer's is so popular that the restaurant estimates it has sold more than 8 million pounds of it since the deli opened up for business. But Langer's impressive culinary creations go above and beyond pastrami. Langer's interpretation of the classic Reuben, dubbed the number 88 on its menu, comes with all the traditional ingredients except one, Russian dressing. While purists might protest that it's not a Reuben without dressing, Dressing. Hear us out. 
In this case, foregoing the dressing actually works in the sandwich's favor. The absence of Russian dressing puts the flavor of the corned beef more in the spotlight, since the lack of dressing makes it easier to appreciate the finer nuances and complexities of the meat itself. And there's a lot to appreciate. However, big fans of Russian dressing's zesty creaminess will be glad to know that it's featured in several variations of Langer's hot pastrami sandwiches, and you can always order some on the side, too. Kenny and Ziggy's in Houston, Texas has been open since 1999. The restaurant is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and the menu mostly sticks to deli classics, but also veers into more experimental territory. Take the Ruby's Appetizer, for example, which fuses Asian dumplings with the traditional ingredients of a corned beef Reuben to delicious results. Prefer a Reuben to come in hot dog form? They have you covered. Or let's say you're not sure if you're in the mood for a Reuben. You might want to mix it up a bit? Try the Cloak and Dagwood, a sandwich that's heavy on the pastrami cheese and slaw, and add some knockwurst, because why not? The Reuben's trademark flavor profile makes several appearances on Kenny and Ziggy's menu, and that means the hardest part is choosing. Of course, the restaurant offers the traditional Reuben sandwich, but it also serves it open-faced. Delicatessen purists may scoff at the idea of an open-faced Reuben, but the truth is that serving it open-faced is genius. Since the Reuben tends to be an inherently messy sandwich, spreading it out over a plate and eating it with a fork and knife makes perfect sense. Additionally, Kenny and Ziggy's really piles on the food. No one's walking away hungry. Between the tender corned beef that's cured in-house and the generous portions, Kenny and Ziggy's offers one of the tastiest sandwiches you'll ever encounter. Maybe get an extra one to go and a backup for that one, just in case. Hi. Hi. What's wrong, buddy? Someone at work ate my sandwich. Jaime's is located on the northwest outskirts of Philadelphia, and it has been in the business of serving up delicious eats for more than 60 years. Jaime's serves breakfast all day and offers a wide range of dishes, including omelets, signature sandwiches, gourmet burgers, fresh salads, and Philly cheesesteaks. As expected, Jaime's makes mouth-watering Reubens and even offers them in a few different variations. The Reubens are served with corned beef, pastrami, or turkey, as well as the traditional Swiss, sauerkraut, Russian dressing, and rye. For those who want to venture into the breadless territory, Jaime's also offers a Reuben on crispy potato pancakes or wrapped up in a flour tortilla. How about all that Reuben flavor on fries? They've got you covered there, too. And those who can't decide between pastrami or corned beef can always opt to have both by ordering the Best of Both Worlds Reuben sandwich. Pickle lovers will also be happy to know that Jaime's has a pickle bar available. And honestly, does it get any better than a pickle bar? DZ Aiken's Deli in San Diego has been open for over 40 years, and it has gradually expanded over the years to become a highly respected, family-owned and operated institution of deli delights. The menu is comfortably familiar as it serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner, staying true to tradition and mainly sticking to classics like simple cured meat sandwiches and other handheld fare. Interestingly, where the kitchen gets most inventive is with its dessert menu, offering up nearly a dozen different interesting milkshakes and a handful of creative ice cream sundaes and pastries. Back on the sandwich side, DZ Aikens lists over an impressive 100 options, ranging from the classic Reuben to patty melts and club sandwiches. They've been doing it for a long, long time, and that old saying about practice? It does, indeed, make perfect. The Reuben sandwich at DZ Aikens is generously stacked, lovingly prepared, and consistently delicious. Another thing we appreciate about the Reuben here is that there are five sides to choose from, which include potato salad or a fruit cup. If you're a fan of corned beef, you'll be pleased to see it featured in dozens of different combination sandwiches across the menu. The hardest choice is between ordering an old favorite or trying a new one. Sam LaGrasse's in Boston has been family-owned and operated since 1968, and it has a passion for high-quality gourmet sandwiches. Case in point, at Sam LaGrasse's, all the meats are prepared in-house, all dressings are made from scratch, and various types of breads are baked to the restaurant's precise specifications. Truly, attention to detail is king at Sam LaGrasse's, and our bellies are delighted all the more for it. Where the menu really shines is in its section of hot pastrami sandwiches. The Reuben at Sam LaGrasse's comes with house-made pastrami, Swiss, sauerkraut, and Russian dressing on grilled pumpernickel, which pushes this Reuben into the higher tier. After you've tried the Reuben, go for the pastrami Diablo. This spicy sandwich will have you craving it on the daily in daydreams. New York's oldest deli, Katz's Delicatessen, has been around since 1888. And there's a good reason for that, which involves good food and a popularity that predates that infamous movie scene. I'll have what she's having. 
The Reuben at Katz's is the epitome of perfection. It consists of tender meat layered with gooey Swiss, crunchy kraut, and a drizzle of luscious dressing on deli rye. The standard comes with corned beef, but you can swap that out for brisket at no extra charge. The brisket is delicious, sure, but if you ask us, go for the pastrami instead. Chef and former Bazaar Foods host Andrew Zimmern's go-to order at Katz's is a mixed blend of fatty brisket and pastrami a sandwich he orders with such consistency that he claims the kitchen starts slapping it together the moment he walks in the door. If you've always wanted to try a Reuben from Katz's but you're way outside the Big Apple, no need to fear. The deli actually has a Reuben package that it ships out nationwide. This deal brings everything you need for four loaded Reuben sandwiches right to your doorstep, with two pounds of your choice of pastrami or corned beef, along with a pound of Swiss cheese, small jars of sauerkraut and dressing, and half a loaf of rye bread. Katz's gets major points not only for its top-notch Rubens, but also for making them accessible nationwide for the masses to enjoy. And it's food, after all, that can bring us all together. Home cooking! There's nothing like it in the world!